All right, I have here a security camera system from Lorux. They sell several different packages. This one is model number LNB8111B. And this is exactly as you will get it, as it will be delivered to you. And this box is recorder, and in this box are all the cameras. You got the instructions and mounting screws. Here's an incredibly long Cat5e cable. And here's a look at the camera, a quick look. You can power these either through the Cat5 or there's a separate power thing there. All right, nice. These come in white or black. Obviously, for the higher end cameras, like the 4Ks, you're gonna want a bigger hard drive. Power cord, HDMI, Cat5, what is this? Oh, a mouse, and here's a remote. That's handy, because you don't always want to go to, you know, especially if you're in a shop or something, you don't want to go to a computer, you want to stand there, maybe at the register and click through. There's a look at the front and the back. You see all the cameras are going to plug in here. And then you have some HDMI, USB, and uh, monitor ports, things like that. This system is a 4K system. These cameras record in 4K. HDIR bullet IP camera. These instructions look pretty good. I don't think they're going to leave out any details. They look well done. All right, the first camera we're gonna put up is right up in this corner here, right about there. And the reason why is the sun's gonna set on that side and I want the camera pointed away from the sun when it sets. So this one just needs this one cable and that will give it power and will also allow it to send the signal to the recorder. Almost forgot to take off this uh, plastic here. All right, with just one camera installed, let's hook up the recorder and see how it works. The remote, the recorder, the mouse, and the monitor. The monitor you'll have to find yourself. You can either use your own computer monitor or pick up an extra, but these are so cheap now. Plug this into slot number one, and there's the on-off switch there. In the instructions, it says it's going to take a second to get ready. Okay, so I don't know if this is, let's see, is there a menu? Multifunction. Oh, I didn't push anything. What is this? Oh, some beep. Don't know what that meant. Look at that. There's our porch. It's working. I think this is gonna work out really well. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up all the cameras now and position them, do a lot more work, and we'll jump back in a bit once I've played around with this. But I'm excited. This is a nice, clean, really good picture. So I've been using it for a while now, and there's things that I really like and some things that I think they can improve on. The cameras that I chose are PoE, or Power Over Ethernet, which means you gotta have some way to power the camera. And actually there's enough power in the ethernet cable that you can power the camera. So you just have one cable, goes right to the camera. You can also, if you don't wanna run the cables, you can do a wireless. If you have maybe a shed or a garage that's detached from your property and you want to run a camera back there, you can do it that way. Once you plug in a camera and you turn the system on, it starts recording immediately. There's no, you don't have to hook up any other things or you don't have to run any software. It works the first time as soon as you turn it on, it's running and working, which is really cool. I have five cameras hooked up right now. One is under the overhang of the porch. Gives me a view of who's knocking at the door and also I can see into the front yard. I put one camera over the garage looking down at the driveway and the alley and it does take a beating from the sun and the rain and the snow, but it's not had one issue with it. It holds up just fine. It's no problem with anything getting on the lens or the sun hitting the lens because it's Got a bit of a ledge over the lens as well. One of the cameras looks down at the kitchen and the living room. I installed the camera in the garage. I really like it there. I can see if the door is closed at night or when we're gone. I can see if the lights are left on, things like that. Another camera I put at a 3D printer I just got. Some of those prints go for hours, and so I have the camera pointed at it. I can check and make sure it's printing correctly because if it's not, it's going to really make a big mess. So 
every once in a while I can monitor and make sure everything's right. I really love that you can check out your house and what's going on anywhere in the world. You can set it up so if there's some motion detected on a camera, you get a notice, a little email notice or a little text notice, things like that, that, hey, this camera detected a movement. Now, maybe you wanna know if somebody's right on the porch, right? Right at your front door, send me a notice if you get any movement. Well, so what they do for that is you can block out the parts that you don't want any motion detection for. So. You cover all that up and you just maybe have just the spot on the uh, image of the camera where maybe it's right at your doormat and that's left open. So when there's movement anywhere else in the camera, it's not gonna record it if you have it on motion detection only and it's not going to send you a notice. If somebody enters that area, you can have it set to send you a notice and also record. So you can take a look at these cameras anywhere in the world as long as they're hooked up through your internet connection. The system will keep recording until the hard drive is totally full. Once it's full, it starts recording over the old footage. I like that they've been around for a while because once you get it set up, you're going to want a company that's been around and will keep innovating and keep updating the software and keep making things better. I'm sure there's a lot of good new brands and new systems coming out, new companies, but giving advice to any of my friends or family, I would tell them pick a major brand. And uh, that way, chances are, you're gonna be a lot happier with it and they're not gonna uh, stop updating the software. So to me, there's just two parts. There's the hardware side and the software side. And the software side is really developed and really good, but it's a bit confusing to the new user, I think. There's so many settings and things that you can get into that you're probably not gonna understand right away. You know, there's definitions and terms like um, CBR and VBR. So you go into there and you see all these settings for the camera. So you can set the cameras to record at different levels. I wish if they would just put definitions next to all that and clean up the software a bit, make it a little bit simpler, this would be a stronger unit. Once it's set up, you're not really going back to all the cameras and changing all the bit rates and stuff like that. So, you know, you don't really go back to the settings as so much. You do when you're setting it up. Um, the FLIR Cloud does work well. I can see all the cameras there. You can control cameras from your phone. You can record. You can access the mic. I mean, it's just really nice. It's a good system, so I recommend it. So if you go to their website, you're going to see a lot of different systems. You can get some for a few hundred dollars up to several thousand. And the prices depend on how many cameras are included, what kind of cameras are included. Are they higher definition or lower definition? Um, that you can have things like color night vision if you want. You can have the uh, pan tilt zoom so you can actually move the camera around in one of those little bubble domes. That's pretty cool. The actual recording system itself will have a hard drive in it. And depending on if it's for a commercial system that you're looking into, you probably want to get the very high capacity uh, hard drives. Now the hard drive, you can link the system to record on an external hard drive as well or a computer or something like that. So I was done with this video, putting it all together and finishing up the editing. And a friend was asking me, how much does this camera system cost a month? And that's something I never even thought to talk about. There is no monthly charge. Everything you saw me talk about, there's no extra fees for that. So you just get all of that when you buy a system. Um, there are extra things. You can pay for cloud storage. You could pay for what's called a rapid recap. They give you two of these a month. You can consolidate footage into a short little video to watch where you can see tons of events. Here's one now. You can see the UPS guy. You can see a billion kids. Only half of those are mine. But you can see eight hours or so of footage all in just a couple minutes. Those are really fun to watch. If you wanted more than the two rapid recaps a month, you could pay for that. You could get them for all the cameras if you wanted, and that would be an extra charge. But everything you've seen me do and use has been at a $0 monthly fee. There's no extra charges. Once you buy the system, that's it. Uh, I thank Lorix for sending me this system to review. It's uh, been working great. If you have any questions for me about it, go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. If I'm going to sum this all up in a few sentences, I would say definitely number one, the system is reliable. I've had it for several months now. It's worked 100% of the time, either connecting through the phone, it connects 100% of the time. Um, when the power goes down and it's happened a few times, it comes right back up on. I don't have to go back and log in, restart anything. 
Um, no software problems, nothing. It's always worked. Uh, number two, I would say it's I like all the options you see on their website, all the different cameras, all the different systems. You can definitely find something for you, whether it be commercial or a small residence. Definitely they're gonna have something that'll work. Um, I do like all the options in the software. I know complained about it. Um, it's nice to be able to get in there and tweak all the little settings and have it work just perfect for you. But I do wish it was a little more intuitive and a little simpler. I wish they would just uh, clean it up a little bit. So that's my opinion. If you have uh, anything to add, go ahead, leave it in the comments. I'll see you next video. And until then, have an awesome day.